My name is Ian Flynn, and I'm the Director of Hematologic Malignancies Research at the Sarah Cannon Research Institute in Tennessee Oncology here in Nashville, Tennessee. Leukemia is a family of malignancies that begin in cells that, that start in your uh, bone marrow. Um, we often think of um, leukemia as being a very aggressive disorder in which patients get sick, can get sick very quickly. But in reality, there are many patients who have chronic leukemia, either lymphocytic, chronic lymphocytic leukemia or chronic myelogenous leukemia. And there's a lot of good news on both these fronts. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia starts in a white blood cell called a lymphocyte, and it grows very slowly. Um, patients often have this for years, if not decades, before they're diagnosed. Um, and when they first come to medical attention, it's usually th through a health maintenance examination where their primary care doctor notes an elevated white blood cell count. Um, when, they, when, they're diagnosed with, when patients are diagnosed with CLL, but usually the doctor says, we're probably going to do nothing um, but observe for years. Um, this is, um, this is, can be a concern, of course. Um, most patients would expect to have immediate therapy for um, their disease. However, we know through um, decades of clinical trials that the early intervention for chronic lymphocytic leukemia does not translate into longer survival. Some studies done a few decades ago suggested that early treatment may have actually been worse than, than, than waiting, watching and waiting until someone became symptomatic. I often tell patients I'm not sure that we've done them a service by um, diagnosing them with, the, with chronic lymphocytic leukemia when their white count is very low when they first present to their um, primary care doctor because, they, because we're usually not going to do anything for years after they are diagnosed. And unfortunately, patients are left with the um, anxiety of knowing they have this disease. Um, however, if someone is diagnosed, they should know that that chronic lymphocytic leukemia is a very slow-growing disease. Some patients will never require any therapy for their disease. On the other hand, um, many patients will require disease within the first few, for their disease within the first few years of being diagnosed. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia is a slow-growing malignancy for which many patients have had their disease for um, years, if, if not decades, before they're diagnosed. Commonly, um, patients will present to their primary care doctor for a health maintenance exam and know to have an elevated white blood cell count when they um, have routine blood work done. The normal indications for treatment for someone with chronic lymphocytic leukemia is um, a rapidly rising white blood cell count, becoming anemic, having a lowering of their platelets, which are the cells that help um, clot blood. Um, rapidly progressive lymph nodes in the neck or other areas that are bothersome to a patient, and, and rarely um, someone who has um, uh, problems handling infection or um, very severe fatigue. Now, this is very different from chronic myelogenous or chronic myeloid leukemia, in which um, the therapy is usually begun um, at, initial, at diagnosis. At this time, patients are usually symptomatic. They usually feel poorly when they're diagnosed with CML, in comparison to patients with CLL. So acute leukemias are very different from chronic leukemias in that the therapy for these diseases are usually required emergently. So patients who are d diagnosed with acute leukemia often have, um, feel very poorly. They often feel profound fatigue, Some sometimes have high fevers. Bleeding is a very common symptom of patients with um, acute leukemia. There are two basic types of acute leukemia. They include acute my myeloid or acute myelogenous leukemia or acute lymphocytic or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, those are two um, families of acute leukemias. These diseases require emergent therapy, usually hospitalization um, for at least a month to begin with, uh, and therapy that can last for, for many months, if not years thereafter. Um, the therapies are very different for patients with AML versus patients with ALL, um, but they all involve very intensive chemotherapy, um, um, transfusions of red cells and platelets. Um, bone marrow transplant is a very common form of therapy for patients with acute leukemia, either as a first-line therapy or for patients who relapse after their initial therapy. Um, 
therapy for chronic lymphocytic leukemia varies widely depending on some prognostic factors um, and age and other illnesses. For patients that are um, older, say 70 or 80 in age, um, the therapy might be very low intensity treatment uh, with an eye towards trying to palliate symptoms. For patients with um, who are younger or have more aggressive disease, then we're often using multi-agent chemotherapy to, um, to try to get rid of this um, chronic leukemia. There are a whole bunch of new drugs that are being developed for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. These include a variety of new monoclonal antibodies, um, both naked antibodies as well as antibodies that are conjugated to um, chemotherapy drugs or toxins. In addition to these monoclonal antibodies, there is um, a variety of molecularly targeted drugs that do not have the indiscriminate toxicity that we think of in terms of classical chemotherapy. Some of these uh, targets include SIC, mTOR, PI3 kinase, uh, and Bruton's tyrosine kinase, otherwise known as BTK. Patients with chronic myeloid leukemia um, have uh, wonderful therapies that are now available to them. Um, a little over a decade ago, um, the, the drug Gleevec was um, discovered and um, through clinical trials was approved for the treatment of CML. This is a, uh, a medicine where patients take a pill a day, um, usually for the rest of their life, and able to achieve a complete remission. And now um, the, we really don't know how the average life expectancy for someone with CML because everyone's going into remission, or I should say not everyone, but the vast majority of patients are going into remission and staying in remission for um, many, many years. There's also some um, news on uh, in the CML front. There are now second generation drugs that are um, coming into the clinic and now approved for frontline treatment of CML, um, just the way Gleevec um, was. And these drugs um, are even more effective than, than the, the revolutionary drug, uh, Gleevec. And so your doctor may talk to you about treatment with one of the, the three now, now the, the three drugs that are now approved for the treatment of CML. No matter what type of leukemia um, you have, I hope you will consider entrance into a clinical trial and go to um, minipearl.org or Leukemia Lymphoma Society as a resource to find um, how to participate in a clinical trial. Clinical trials are not just for patients who've um, relapsed after initial therapy. Um, I believe um, wholeheartedly that this is an important part of the initial therapy, and this is how we make progress forward to increase the cure rate is by participation in a, a clinical trial as first-line therapy.